Watching my father wear a ring, watching the deterioration, it's quite horrendous, actually. It's exciting to see what effects these rings will have on us. It's a further development for Len Bill's journey through faith and the family and the circumstance test that faith to actually give him a firm choice when the chips are really down. No! Hold on, Welcome back to Inside the Rings of Power. I am thrilled to welcome back everyone's favorite Dwarven Prince, Owen Arthur, and Lloyd Owen, who plays the noble, Elendil. There's not a lot of crossover between you guys' characters, but it's interesting that you're both dealing with this huge family rift and societies being corrupted. How does this season feel for you, Owen? There's the collapse, uh, if you like, of, of khazad Doom, but also with the relationship with his father the change that's happening to him that we discover more as uh, as we go on the father son relationship give me your axe father axe with the dwarves that sense of commitment to your fellow dwarves and the tradition that's so strong within the dwarven community Cousin! it can be the rise or the fall of the dwarves and also with my father as well yeah. what is Prince Durin's central fear when it comes to his father. It was quite harrowing, actually, going through those motions of watching your father disappear in front of your eyes. I am proud of you. Oh. I am proud of you. Your desire to partner with the elves has saved our kingdom. I obsess over this ring, and nobody can take it from me. Ah, and the rings are not for you. This person's not being himself. I know there's more goodness and more thought and, and care in him, but watching that disappear is quite confusing for a son to have to deal with. But it's very interesting with the father-son thing, because this it's like a reverse. So he is the son, I've got I, I'm the father in my in my context. I've got this difficult relationship. My daughter Iarian is potentially starting to move over to the opposition. Anyone deemed loyal to the Queen Regent has been stripped of rank. On whose authority? On mine. It's this bit, isn't it, where the personal meets the political and how you decide where you're going to be. Loyalty to family. That's it. And yeah. loyalty to state, as it were. So it's, it's a morally a really difficult spot to be in. Captain. Thank you, Captain. Thank you, Captain. Can you tell us a little bit about why Elendil is holding out against this new regime? Yeah, the story that we've seen with Elendil in the first season is sort of gentle rejection of the old ways. He's just trying to keep his head down and he gets sucked in more and more via his relationship to the Queen. Command us all and together we can put this right. The Sea Guard is still loyal Elendil. to you. Together we can find it. Elendil. He's very loyal to his Queen, but he's also becoming personally loyal. Like all events in history, mm. each drama or each occasion forces you to make a decision. The question is, when does he pull the trigger on what is essentially going to be a civil war? How can Elendil mentally survive everything he's going through? The good news is that he can just say, Farazon is a worse father than me because he produced Kemen. I don't know if you're aware, but I've been promoted to... He's this privileged kid who is desperate to impress his father. He's making all these vicious decisions. There was always a split between the Kingsmen and the Faithful, and now it feels like that division is becoming charged. It is no longer background disagreements of politics. It has become dangerous. So, Owain, can you talk about Prince Durin's confrontation with Kelleb Brimbor? Aren't they friends? It feels like you're coming in very aggressively. Now, there simply cannot be a, a, a fault in your reigns then maybe the fault's in the ringmaker. How much do you really know about this, Arnatar? He was introduced to Durin by Elrond, and therefore he's, he is confiding in Celebrimbor, but his suspicions are right. You're the only one in the room who's really got him, and I loved seeing that. Although I don't think Durin knows exactly who he is, but he knows there's something fishy, there's something not right about him. Swear to me that you will never wear one of those rings. I swear it. As yourselves, would you keep the rings if you came into contact with them? If I knew that no good can actually come of it, then no, I don't think so. I don't think I would. I think I would keep hold of it because I think that's the power of the ring. Wow. You'd like to think that you wouldn't, but none of us have been put in any circumstance which is really that life and death, and so you just don't know. You'd keep it there, just in case. Just in case. Just in yeah. case. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
today we've been shooting where Amiradania has to go into a shadow realm. I'm a property and doing some object manipulation to make it look like somebody's holding the object. Here we are again with J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay. Welcome, y'all. Hello. Hi, everyone. In this episode, there's a scene in Celebrimbor's workshop where Merdania, having put on the ring, goes into this other realm. <laughs> we know that there are some rings in Middle-earth that make you invisible. This is, and I'm stumbling across that in like lab accident form. Wow. And when you're in the unseen world, you see things uh, in, from the sort of spiritual dimension. At first I thought it was the forge burning, but it wasn't. Its skin was made of flames. She has seen that there is a demon hiding amongst them. And Anatar is saying, well, Celebrimbor is, you know, really turning a bad way. Well, and, and that's Sauron's MO just over and over again, is he takes people's fear and hatred of him and uses it in order to twist them to get them to do what he wants. He's kind of flirting with her. A little bit. Well, yeah, there's, there's an well, interesting stay, kind stay of tension there, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll kind of see where it goes, but we'll yes, see where it goes. Well, I can't wait to see if we see more of the Unseen World. Next week on Inside the Rings of Power, we'll have director Senna Homri with us again, plus legendary composer Bear McCreary on the show. The stars are aligning in ways that spell out major twists of fate for our friends in Middle-earth. You don't want to miss it. That's an order.